Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Come watch me stream. Yeah. Oh, we're back. My depression is too. Worse than ever. Hey, everybody. What is up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, and welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Funny enough, I don't think I'm gonna be the most depressing thing in this video because some of these bitches. If you're new here, oh my god, I don't even know what kind of prelude to give you. Prelude? Prelude? Bitch, I'd take a fucking quaalude. Something that I do on my channel is I like to look at red carpets, different events, etc., and just be brutally honest with how everything makes me feel. That's all just a very eloquent way of saying being a judgmental c Obviously due to, uh, the world. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a roast of red carpet fashion, so I'm excited to kick it off with the Met Gala. The theme was In America, a lexicon of fashion, which uh, is a hot take for a theme after the last couple years. I always struggle with the Met Gala roasts, and by roasts, I think I mean I've only done one. But it's beyond does this look good, it's also like does this fit the theme, which luckily this year I don't really have to worry about because it doesn't seem like anybody cared about being on theme. I, however, am on theme. This is about as American as it gets. But before we get into this Met Gala roast, I want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Open Farm. Now, if you don't know, Open Farm makes delicious and healthy dog food that Booger literally is obsessed with. Booger definitely can be um, a picky bitch. So I love Open Farm because she actually really loves her food. And not to get too intimate, but her poops have never been so consistent. <laughs> and as the person who picks up her poops, I like that. Now in the same way that I'm concerned about what I put in my body, I'm even more so concerned about what Booger puts in hers. And with Open Farm, I don't have to worry about it because they work with audited farms that create high quality meat. That then you like to eat up, right baby? Ooh, that was in my mouth, Booger. That was like a full dental cleaning. Open Farm's kibble starts at $18.99, but they have over 50 recipes and flavors, so your dog is bound to love something. Here we have a few of Booger's favorites. Right off the bat, their dry food, Booger goes nuts over. Open Farm bakes it at a low temperature to retain all of its nutrients, and it has no artificial flavors, preservatives, or fillers, so Booger really is getting just like the best, most well-rounded meal. With their freeze-dried raw food, this is like honestly been a game changer. You can use it as a meal or a topper or in the um, events of trying to teach her to sit, a reward. Lastly, we have probably my favorite thing because once again, Booger can be picky. Yeah, you love when I pull these out. You love when I pull these out. Honestly, if Booger had her way right now, she would put a straw in one of these and call it a juice box. The open farm bone broths have been game changing in the morning when Booger can be picky with eating. It also gives her some extra hydration, which is great, as well as collagen, which is good for her joint health. Yeah, I know, you really want to drink this. You can't. You had some for breakfast already. Do you want to tell them or should I? <gasps> Do you want to tell them or should I? Okay, fine, I'll tell them. Open Farm is giving you 15% off if you go hit the link in my description and use code CHRIS. Thank you again, Open Farm, for sponsoring this video. Booger, the food that you eat might be freeze-dried and baked at a low temperature, but what we're about to do is roast some bit. Let's go. Let's go to Mac Gala. <laughs> Oh, alrighty, now before we get into it, most of this is in good fun. You can figure out what isn't. <laughs> oh, that's just what I should do. Let the internet decide. Kicking off this YouTube video is the queen of YouTube, Emma Chamberlain and Louis Vuitton, and right off the bat, she looks phenomenal. Emma! Like, it's so exciting to see her in something that I feel like we don't see her in. On the other hand, if you took off the background of this photo, would I think it was the VMAs? Yeah. This isn't screaming America the Brave. It's screaming like America the... Um, yeah, I think this is gonna be a common thing that a lot of people are gonna look good, but I'm not getting the whole America vibe. And I mean, I'm sure there's references and visuals and all this other shit that I'm unaware of. Shocker. Next up, we have Kiki Palmer in CGO Hudson. Listen, does she look Gorgiana? Yes, absolutely. Am I getting America from this? Not really. Okay, wait, maybe I am. Maybe it's like America has finally died and this is what she would have worn to the funeral. Kiki Palmer is one of those people that I will forever bow down to. Listen, she looks good. No one else followed the theme. Why the fuck should Kiki Palmer? Can't wait for all the comments being like, you didn't understand that reference. <laughs> no, it's not that I didn't understand it. It's that I'm so stupid. I literally have never even known of it. Next up, we have Alana Glazer and she is wearing Aliette, I think is how you pronounce it. I love Alana Glazer. I don't love this 
dress. I feel like she, of all people, could have really done something more like creative. I will say though that I think her outfit is on theme. Her dress just looks like a, a whole lot of white people. The sleeves with the dress don't make sense like together, but I think she looks stunning. So that's my review. Next up we have Anna Wintour and Oscar De La Renta and if you ask Squint a little bit, it honestly just looks like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Which, oh my god, is she on theme? Because <laughs> she's America's sweetheart. This dress is confusing me because it's floral and it's ruffles, and I hate both. I was skeptical which ruffle was supposed to say America with this dress, but I think I've discovered that it screams America. As in, I've seen enough. I'd like to leave now. Yeah. This dress is giving me that. Next up, we have Tom Ford, and he is wearing... Tom Ford. And that might be the most American thing about his outfit. Listen, Tom, you look like you're at a wedding. Like, what? Oh my god, that like horse snarl was more American than half the shit I'm seeing. <sighs> Why do men show up if you're gonna look like this. Next up we have our favorite, Timothy Chalamet and Hader Ackerman and Rick Owens. <sighs> okay, if we're talking right off the bat, no, I don't love this outfit. It gives me theater kid vibes. If I'm looking waist up, it's giving me very much like founding father, like I'm getting some like revolutionary war references, <laughs> which is a sentence I never thought I'd fucking say. And then if you're talking waist down, it's giving me like baseball player. So like both of those are very American, but like was George Washington playing softball? No, I don't think so. Next up we have Eva Chen and she is wearing Christopher John Rogers. I like this. I think the colors are very cool. I like the blocking. It's giving me very much that message that your TV flashes. It's like, a missile's coming to Hawaii. Another cop has killed another person. There's a category 700 hurricane coming because climate change is real. You know, like one of those messages. I mean, all jokes aside, no, I don't think that this is giving me America in any regard. Next up, we have Nia Dennis and Stella McCartney and... That was Nia Dennis and Stella McCartney. I think she looks gorgeous. I think that this outfit should have never been made. I feel like the theme for this Met Gala should have been America, just wear one of the colors. Because that is what I feel like this theme is. And sadly, I don't feel like it's the people wearing the outfit's fault most of the time. I think I read that like a lot of designers didn't even like, they were just like, eh, it's not the real one. I don't know what the kids are wearing to prom these days or if they're even going to prom, but this just gives me like a, what I imagine people are wearing to prom nowadays. <laughs> Ugh, I'm over it. Oh my God, it is on theme, America. I'm over it. Next up we have Dan Levy in La Hueve slash J.W. Anderson, which, oh my god, I'm in J.W. Anderson. Look at me. I do have to say I am getting big America vibes from this. It's the whole map of the world and that is very much on America's Pinterest board. We are obsessed with everything else in the world besides our own problems. And then furthermore, I think the sleeves are actual replicas of the sales of the Mayflower, so, ooh, he had a lot to say about this one. No, in all seriousness, I do actually kind kind of like the top. The pants look like they're made of a cheap, thin material. And then the boots, I think, look horrible with this outfit. I like the boots. I hate them with this outfit. Next up, we have Julia Garner in Stella McCartney, and it looks like the... I mean, I'm not even... Nah, Next up, we have Ella Emhoff in Stella McCartney, and this one just has bigger pants. I'm not getting America at all besides the color red, and I just don't care. Yeah, I'm waving too, Ella. Get me out of here. Next up, we have Maisie Williams and Ruben Selby, and I think she looks so fucking cool! Right off the bat, I don't see America with this, although this is like... America's died, this is the funeral fit. Next up we have Saweetie in Christian Cohen and much like her McDonald's meal, I don't get it. Again, I don't know what the working relationship and collaboration was like for any of these, but like I just feel like she would have done something more. Like, I feel like she is so entertaining, and all she's doing here is enter training. A train doesn't do anything for a dress. Honestly, if you're gonna do a train for In America, how about, like, an actual railroad going down with a train behind you? Like, that's on the ground, and as you walk, the train's... 
Why is a stoner photography major coming up with this? Like, yes, she looks good, but this just feels like a dress you'd wear to a premiere and then you threw a train on it. Next up, we have Troy Sivan in Cartier. I think Troy looks phenomenal. I just don't get America from it. Although, would I love this to be Lady Liberty? Yes. <gasps> that would be so American, a man taking a woman's job. Hmm. Lot to think about. Once again, it's falling into the category of looks amazing. Don't understand the theme. Oh, if you guys know like the references and shit, I would love to actually learn more about this because I really think there's something wrong with me. Oh, next up we have Phineas and Givenchy. I really like this as a look. I wish the boots were different though, especially cause like the outfit is giving me like cowboy goes to the Met Gala. Like, oh my God, like a red leather cowboy boot with like a pointy toe and a little bit of a heat. Mm. Besides the red, it's not screaming America for me, but I think that it is a nice suit. I do wish that the shoes were different. Phineas, is the mask custom or is Givenchy selling these? Because like that is a stunning mask. <laughs> Next up, we have Phineas's sister, Billy, in Oscar de la Renta. Now, because my IQ is under 10, I do realize the reference here and it's Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Yay, Chris. No, I think this is very much American fashion, American fame. I will say, I wish the dress wasn't so close to her skin tone. It's so cool to see Billy in something so different. Even the dog in the back is shook. He's like, whoa, whoa. Next up, we have Lil Nas X in Versace, and he had like a whole Lady Gaga moment where he did like an outfit change on the carpet. His first one is like this huge, honestly, it gives me like a French King vibe, which is not giving me America. And then he goes into like a gold suit of armor. Then he goes into just like a bodysuit that is very all Versace. I do like the performance of it and I think it's fun. I don't think it's giving me America. The gold suit of armor is definitely giving me, who is that guy? Like um, C-3PO? I don't even know Star Wars and I know that motherfucker. But like, oh my God, if he's doing this whole pregnant belly thing right now to have to show up as like 16 and pregnant, that would have been iconic. Like in plaid? Where's the plaid in this event? Are we kidding? Do I think it's fun and he looks great? Yes. I feel like this should have been like, I keep saying the VMAs. I don't know why. But like, oh my God, this at the VMAs red carpet, I feel like would have been such a moment. But like, it just doesn't make sense at the Met Gala with the theme of America. Maybe the armor is like, we just always have this innate need to conquer other places. Maybe that's it. Next up we have Naomi Osaka and Louis Vuitton and there's not much I love about this and I feel so bad. Oh my God, the hair I just, <laughs> I just realized that this reminds me of that doll from Rugrats that she holds. Oh my God, Naomi Osaka, I am so sorry. I love that Naomi Osaka is taking a risk. I really hate the ruffles on the sleeves or the dress or the cape or whatever that is. I don't understand it. Next up, Serena Williams is in Gucci and I don't know what <laughs> is happening here. I love Serena Williams and I wish I liked this. I don't. I don't get it. I don't think the stars are gonna help you with the America theme. And I don't think it looks good. Like, I just... Ugh. Next up, we have Storm Reed in Prada, and the most American thing about it is that it just makes me feel like I should also have a small waist. However, could I be missing a reference? Always a possibility. <laughs> Next up, we have Corday Dunstan in Coach, and why are you here, sir? I think this is boring. I don't think it's interesting. I don't think it even looks good. And that one's that. Next up, we have Ben Platt and Christian Cohen, and I love this, honestly. His hair and the beard, it's giving me very much like, like Bob Dylan, practically. <laughs> Part of me wishes it was dressier since it's the Met Gala, but also like, if the theme is America, I mean, how glamorous is it gonna get? I like this. It does definitely look like something I would just wear on a Saturday. Next up, we have Kim Petras in Kalina Strata and I mean, come on, horse girl. <laughs> I love this for some reason, and I know that it's ridiculous, but like, at least it's like, I got a good laugh out of it. She looks like the horse that Timothy Chalamet, our founding father, would be riding on to 
Shit, I wish I paid attention in history class. And that's how I got a two on my AP US test. Next up we have Elliot Page in Balenciaga and insert my rant about men wearing black tuxes to the Met Gala here. I think Balenciaga makes a fire suit, so I like, obviously, the whole look. I just... Ugh. Next up we have Carly Kloss and Carolina Herrera, and she is... Bringing what she always brings, the question of why does she end up coming if she's gonna look like this. The most American thing she could have done was show up with her fucking husband, aka Jared Kushner's brother. But nope, instead she's giving us this. Carly, I just don't get it. Every year. Oh my god. You're looking camp right in the eye, bitch. Me too. Next up, MJ Rodriguez in Tom Brown, and I love this. This is giving me like Founding Fathers, but done Tom Brown way, which I think is sick. I will say I wish she left her bump it at home. I don't understand the hair with the rest of this outfit, but I still think she looks great, and I'm getting an American vibe. God, the bar is in fucking hell. No, in fact, where is the bar? Next up, we have Kit Harrington in St. Laurent with Rose Leslie. And that was more interesting than that outfit. Next up, we have hot girl Meg the Stallion in Coach. And this outfit is feeling like we are sitting in Coach. I mean, come on, Megan the Stallion. Give us, like, at least premium economy. For someone like Megan the Stallion, I thought more would come. Especially with it being her first Mecca, I thought she just would have come harder. Alright, I am hearing the last sentence I said. No, but I thought Meg Thee Stallion would really bring it. I'm getting the old Hollywood vibe, but the dress, I think, is just so fucking ugly, and I'm sorry, coach, okay? I think she looks great. I think the dress is heinous, which is not her fault. And I am getting the American old Hollywood reference, but it's just, ugh, like, disappointing. Next up, we have Iman in Harris Reed, and I honestly love this. This gives me very much, like, showgirl, like Las Vegas. I love all the colors and tones. I even love this ridiculous dress. It's interesting, at least. Oh my god, I love this. Next up, we have Grimes in Iris Van Herpen. I love this dress. I love the mask, honestly. Is that a sword? I was just about to say that this is giving me absolutely not a single reference to America, but the fact that she brought an absolutely unnecessary weapon to an event like this is the most American thing anybody could have done. She looks this fucking cool and hit the theme as hard as you could. To Grimes, I salute thou. Next up, we have Tracy Ellis Ross in Balenciaga. I am literally obsessed. This blue is obviously so America, and that is honestly the only thing really about this outfit that's giving me an America reference. But I think she looks so good. Honestly, she is giving me mob energy, and that is America, baby. Oh my god. Oh god, Chris, this might be a thought you keep to yourself, but never mind, I'll say it to the internet. What if Tracy Ellis Ross came as Betsy Ross? Are you kidding me? Next up, we have Zoe Dutch. Dooch, ich, we're nine Berliner. She is wearing Versace, and I love this color. I love this dress on her. Why, once again, is my VMA theory holding true? I don't get, like, even a crumb of an America reference. In America, a lexicon of fashion. Is this supposed to be, like, the Fashion Nova era of fashion that we're in? Next up, we have Madison Beer in One Of, and I would like to see her in One Of Something Else, comma, anything. This is so boring. <laughs> this is so boring! I'm sure there's a reference. I'm not getting it at all because it's boring. I will say that Madison Beer is pulling through in one capacity, and that is supporting my, what I've coined, the VMA theory. Oh, next up, we have Addison Rae and Tom Ford's Gucci, and I saw a TikTok about this last night. That this is literally Kourtney Kardashian's Christmas outfit. Is it a coincidence that it is the same color as a MAGA hat? No. She just had to say hi. I mean, okay, I do like the dress, and I do think she looks good. I don't understand the hair. I don't think it works with the outfit. Next up, we have Irina Shake in Moschino, and I... I don't get it. It's giving me, like... 
Bed Bath & Beyond shower mat, which is American. But I'm not really getting much of an America vibe, nor do I think she looks that great. And that's like crazy because it's Irina shape. Yeah, not my fave. At least Addison Ray wore a, a good dress. Next up, we have Nikki Tutorials in Edwin Oudshorn. Now, see, this is a reference to Marsha P. Johnson, who was a huge gay rights, I mean, icon. Furthermore, she is making quite a statement about the American education system because she's from fucking Holland. Why is she making a better reference about America than Americans? I don't necessarily love all the tool and stuff, but... You know what? I think the reference is there and she looks phenomenal. Next up we have Pete Davidson and Tom Brown. I don't know if this is his most flattering outfit, but I will say he's giving me very much an America reference. I don't know any other country whose people make meth in a mobile home and he looks like someone making meth in a mobile home. <laughs> I like Pete Davidson and I like Tom Brown. I just don't like this. Next up we have Maluma in Versace and I mean... He looks so good. Oh, oh my god, the red cowboy boot. See, that's what I'm talking about. Phineas, tackle Maluma and take his shoes. Maluma's giving very much Americana cowboy vibe, which I like, because it's like, you know, the bare minimum of this theme. Next up, we have Jeremy O'Harris in Tommy Hilfiger. This is like Alaya vibes. Tommy Hilfiger, I feel like itself is just like such an American brand. I like this. I think that a Tommy Hilfiger raincoat, but as like, Basically a whole gown. Mwah! Next up we have Lord and Bode, and this isn't gonna bode well for her. I think she looks fun. I just don't get the America reference at all. Especially in the like era she's in right now for her own like music. I feel like doing like an American hippie Woodstock, but Met Gala would have been so much better. Next up we have Chris Jenner in Tom Ford and Alexander McQueen. For someone who gives me such mob boss energy, I really would have thought thought she would come as American gangster. Like, the godfather. Yeah, I don't know. This just feels like what she would wear to, like, Kylie Jenner launching a new baby, you know? Next up, we have Gabrielle Union in Iris Van Herpen, and this might be my favorite dress of the night. I think that this looks so sick. It is motherfucking ill. Now, here's the thing. This really could be a reference to America. I don't see it whatsoever. But, I mean, this probably was one of my favorite looks of the night. I don't care about the theme because, once again, not really many other people did. Next up, we have Sierra and Peter Dundas, and I love this. Taking something as, for some reason, iconic as football and making it a full dr Like, I love it. Does it give me, like, a Fashion Nova vibe? Sure. But isn't that just American? Mwah! America's two Fs. Football and Fashion Nova. Next up we have Frank Ocean and Prada and I don't get the theme but I don't care. He looks so good. Honestly, he looks like just an, a normal New Yorker, which is pretty fucking American compared to all these other people. I don't care. Frank Ocean. Oh. Next up, we have Jennifer Lopez in Ralph Lauren, and I think that she hit the mark on the head for this theme. I don't think she looks that great. <laughs> She's honestly kind of scary. Alrighty, I have so many left, and we're just gonna do a rapid fire round until I get to the end of this list. Olivia Rodrigo in Saint Laurent. Uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Bye. Don't love it. Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber in St. Laurent. Okay, Justin, you wore a baggy pant with a fucking black suit. And Haley Bieber, I mean, good God. Kim Kardashian and Balenciaga. I honestly really like this. I wish she didn't arrive in New York City like this, nor wear it to the Donda listening party, but I think this is actually fire. And hey, like my outfit, there's nothing more American than a t-shirt. Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello in Michael Kors. I love that Shawn didn't Look like Shawn Mendes at this. And that's really the only nice thing I'm about to say about any of this. Camila Cabello, I just don't understand you. Gigi Hadid in Prada. I think she looks great. I don't understand the reference besides like maybe old Hollywood. Kendall Jenner and Givenchy. I know that she had an Audrey Hepburn inspo. I would never have understood that. Zoe Kravitz in Saint Laurent. I think she looks fucking fire. I don't understand the America reference and that's okay. Kid Cudi with 
a bunch of clothes, one of them being a Louis Vuitton skirt. I think he looks fire. Don't understand the America. Hunter Schaefer in Prada. I am scared, nor do I understand the reference, but that's okay, because I'm not gonna fuck with you. You scare the shit out of me. Haley Steinfeld, who I guess has an America reference. She's political. As in, she's saying that the reefs are getting bleached. We must act now. Emily Rada Kawabunga in Vera Wang. I think she looks like Emily Rada Kawabunga. ASAP Rocky in ERL and Rihanna and Balenciaga. I think that the blanket thing gives me like quilting America vibes. And then he had like a suit, which is not even going there. I like Rihanna's outfit. Rihanna could punch me in the fucking dick and I would literally say thank you. Oh my god. I don't know what the hell I just looked at, but I don't know if I loved a lot of it. I feel like the theme for this year based off of what I just saw should have been like prom. Maybe stay home. It all made me kind of go, what the fuck? So maybe it all really was American after all. All right, I've met Gotta Go, so thanks for watching and oh my God. Let me know what you think. As if we all aren't thinking the same thing. <sighs> I'm gonna go lay down.